we are expecting this summer a higher level of mortality in the oak trees. We are at a, we're having a drought right now throughout the state. Um, and then this is our dry period of the year, our very dry period of the year anyway. Uh, one of the projects that I work on is the invasive species of gold spotted oak borer, which is a uh, beetle that was brought here from southern Arizona, probably in the mid 90s, and it's having a catastrophic effect on the oak trees in San Diego County. And so what we're trying to do is find the, the best solution to uh, deal with it. Uh, to date, it's thought that the beetle has killed in excess of 100,000 oak trees throughout the county. Um, but within a very confined area in the eastern and central parts of the county. So working with multiple different agencies, our big mantra is to uh, keep the infected area as is and don't let it spread anymore. I think it's important because the natural land has such an effect on us even if we don't realize it and to keep it in as natural a state as possible I think is ideal. Um, it allows us to um, experience just uh, sights and sounds that we don't get to experience if we spend a lot of time either in the house or uh, in the city. So just allowing people a place to explore and uh, enjoy. So we stopped and we listened to an environmental scientist at Cuyamaca State Rancho State Park and he was talking about a specific beetle that was brought in from Arizona that I thought it was really interesting that in Arizona because they get a lot of water that the water in the trees the and the beetle they kind of coexist naturally but when they were brought into an area in California where there's a lot of drought that the tree cannot um, sustain the beetle because the tree itself is already fighting for water um, and then the beetle is taking away those resources. He was showing us the different types of trees that are in that area and taught us how to identify the different trees and he also taught us how to look for where the beetles come out of the tree. Being outside is huge for me. Uh, I've got to be able to like just have my feet on the ground and be able to just see the outdoors every day. And this and this allows me to do it. And this is what I did growing up as a kid, just running around the woods. And so now I get paid for it. Yeah. Um, and I get to meet a lot of just really smart people and just learn from them. Um, and just make my, I guess, make my impact and my impression on the natural world and just uh, leave it better than what I found it as. I loved it. I love fresh air. I love hearing the wind in the trees. I love anything with hills. And um, Ranger Mike was very knowledgeable as well, which was helpful. If you're if you're in the city and you've got urban parks, utilize them. Uh, if you got the opportunity to, uh, you know, get out to the country somewhere, do it. Um, if you even if you live in rural areas, I know a lot of kids and families that don't utilize what they have in their backyard and stuff. So get outside and enjoy it.